Um, when our daughter was in high school, back in the late 1990s, 1998, she had the opportunity to go with a youth group to Ninos, and my husband and I volunteered to be sponsors. Well, our involvement with the ministry started on that first trip, and ever since then we've been going every 12 to 18 months, and we have sponsored seven or eight children during that time. Um, one of those children we um, is now grown and um, out of the ministry, um, away from the ministry, but we still stay in contact with him and stay in contact with the kids that are there. The vision of Niños de Mexico is to evangelize Mexico one child at a time and to truly bring God into the lives of children and later adults and the people that they come into contact with in Mexico in very meaningful ways. So providing for the child spiritually, physically, emotionally to allow them to grow and prosper and become Christians who pass on that heritage to their own children and to other people in Mexico. Many of the kids come from um, a lack of homes, they, they live on the streets or they have homes that they are uh, experiencing abuse or addiction in the home. They have situations where um, there's not enough to eat, there may be uh, no permanent residents. Um, there, there's just a, a lot of difficult situations that the children come from. Sometimes there's spiritual um, abusive situations, sometimes they're emotionally abusive, but m mostly it's physical needs. The children don't have um, a home and a family and people who care and love for them to make sure that they grow to be thriving adults. And so Niños provides that, but they provide so much more because they provide this spiritual concept that allows the kids to grow in Christ. The Lord is, is using Niños to Mexico so many ways. Um, so many of the children over the years and the times through Mexico, they have now gone out to become missionaries, their disciples, or their parents raising their children as Christians. And um, so it's really exciting to see what God has done over the years with this ministry and what he continues to do for the, these children and for the people of Mexico. Well, there are several ways to get involved. Um, first of all, pray for the ministry, pay, pray for the staff who are there, for the kids who are there. Um, support a child. The HUGS program is a wonderful way to get involved with supporting a child for just a few dollars a month and uh, being involved not just with the money, but with writing letters and, and being a friend to the child on Facebook, but also um, going and just experiencing the mission is such a wonderful way to get involved. I do what I do because God has placed on my heart um, a real compassion for the people of Mexico. And this mission um, is very important to me and to, to my family. And we have uh, a real feeling that God wants us to work with this mission and um, to really be there alongside Niños de Mexico to provide what support we can to help them toward their goal. Just the idea that um, Ninos to Mexico is a fabulous mission. It is a mission that's accountable. It's a mission that has a heart for God and shares that not only with the children that are housed at the mission, but also all of the people that they come into contact with and do business with and interact with on a daily basis. So if you have, um, an idea that you'd like to find out more about a mission or a mission trip, um, a short-term mission trip to Niños to Mexico would be a wonderful way to start. If you know of a ministry that we need to know about, please give us a call, 888-641-8606, or take a look at our website, revelationstv.org.